Previously on Baseball Minnesota. When they get a job lately, it's really kind of scarce. They don't, there's no, uh, they don't have positions for a 30 year old DH. Amazing. I think the most important thing I know is, is, is that I have to do it on the field. And if it's not done on the field, you know, there's no question about it. You know, nobody would believe it. It's my opinion, and I've been from the bottom to the top, back down here. There's two things that if you can do here, you can do it all the way up. machines we're not robots we cannot perform at a level um, forever that we you know sometimes go through when we're younger the only way guys can do it for an extended period of time is because they're mentally strong and that allows them to forget about the aches and pains and the challenges along the way it makes you want to do it longer and as you know makes makes your mind overcomes adversity that you normally would call it quits over I want some heat tonight, some stretch, and all the old part stuff. Get you your Geritol pills, your Metamucil. <laughs> Check your Depends and make sure you get out there. The pain involves. I'm going to take three different types of narcotics just to be able to DH these days. Oh, it's horrible. You know, but don't feel sorry for me. I'll get through it. Just love the game. When you're in a slump like that, you gotta work. You gotta work your way out. You gotta say, okay, I gotta start concentrating a little bit more. I gotta start working a little bit more on things that's gonna make me dry. Come on, Jack. Come on, give it up. There you go. I will. For sure. Hey, Brent. Well, we thank you for joining us tonight. We are at Lewis and Clark Park here in Sioux City, Iowa. Carlton Fleming stepping in, hitting at 381, no home runs, and two runs batted in. Brooks into the motion, and the first pitch of the ball game is swung on and hit in the air towards center field. Ranging over is Gerald Young, and he will make the grab for out number one. If I don't sweat if I can't keep sweating on my hand, I can't throw it. It slips out of my fingers. Go, baby, go, go, go! JT, he's aboard at first, and here comes Daryl Strawberry. Well, we have one aboard for Daryl, and the chance begin. I remember many years, you know, when I first, you know, played early in my career, I took a lot of frustration out on the field with me, and it took my head out of the game. And now it's even by the fact if I don't take it out there on the field with me, you know, I don't take myself out of my game, and I can excel. And, and that's the most important thing for me to be able to do is, is, is go out and excel and, and get the job done and, and show that I still can play. Darrell hitting at 383 with six home runs and 19 runs batted in. Brooks, the right-hander, comes to the set. The 1-1 one -one is on the way. It's Strawberry on the That might be. A high, deep drive to right field. Oh, oh. That ball is long gone. A two-run homer for Darrell Strawberry as he drives a very high, towering fly ball out of here. And the Saints lead it 2 to nothing. If the body tells you you can do it, then you go out and do it. And that, that's why I'm here. And I, I believe that's the same reason Jack Morris is here. At a time, you know, there were times that he, he really didn't know, and I didn't know. We used to look at each other and say, what are we doing, you know? But, you know, our physical talent tell us we love the game and you want to play. But if it gets to a point where it's not there anymore and you can't do it anymore, um, you definitely got to hang it up. Boy, count. All right, count of that. Brooks to the set with the runner, Neff, with a fairly good lead at second. And the pitch to Garner, swing and a miss at a high fastball. Kevin doesn't get cheated on his cuts much. And a pretty good rip at that one. 
was drafted in the first round by the San Diego Padres back in 1987. That year, Ken Griffey Jr. was the first pick in the nation. Jack McDowell was the fifth pick. Kevin Apier with the Royals, he was the ninth pick. A little guy from Lake Jackson, Texas, named Kevin Garner, he was the tenth pick that year. Here's a swing and a high drive hit towards deep right field. Backing up is Lance Robbins. This one is going to stay in the park. Robbins catches it for the second out. Neff tags up. Here comes the throw to third. He is safe. If you'd ask me then, where would I be in, what, eight years? I would have hoped, you know, I'd have five years into the big leagues. But as it is in the Northern League in Sioux City Airport, waiting for my girlfriend here, I think it would have been a lot different if I wouldn't have had some of the injuries I would have had, you know, things of that nature. So. I right. opened your present I got you, Kevin. I know how you like to destroy things, so I kind of got you something. Just thought you needed oh. some extra cut the uh, sleeves and the midriff off every shirt you own. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Sure. Give you a little hug. Mm -hmm. Christmas. Well, the Saints get a couple as they get uh, two runs and they come on three hits. There were no errors and one runner left on base. We're heading to the bottom half of the first inning. It is the Saints two and the Sioux City Explorers coming to bat. You know, I, I kind of expected to see uh, scouts here. I expected to see people that were interested in signing kids, not necessarily in the major league level, but I, I figured there would be some minor league scouts here looking for somebody to fill rosters or replace injured players or somebody that just flat out couldn't do it. Um, I thought I'd see a few guys here. So far, I haven't seen anybody. And that 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 is discouraging because it makes you realize that you're sort of going through the motions right now without the potential of uh, advancing up the ladder. Well, we thank you for joining us tonight. We are at Lewis and Clark Park here in Sioux City, Iowa, where the Saints have built themselves a two to nothing lead. Mike on a two run homer by Daryl Strawberry. I know that my arm is still probably good enough to win in the big leagues. Um, I'm gonna have to pitch different than I did. I'm gonna have to learn to do things a little different than I did when I was younger because when I was younger, I guess you just take it for granted when you are young. You don't realize that you're resilient, that the little aches and pains you do have are minimal compared to what you get later in life. It's the ultimate mind game. Jack Morris will go to the hill for the Saints tonight. Morris starts him off with a fastball that's in a little bit tight, 1-0. and oh. The only way I can achieve that is I've got to eliminate all the negative thoughts and and uh, I don't know if that's realistic. I, I do have a life. I mean, there is more to life than playing minor league baseball. The life outside of baseball is a good life. The life inside of baseball is a good life. It's just all, all in your attitude, you know. It's what you want. Swing and a miss. Morris claims his first strikeout victim. And one up and one down for Sioux City in the home half of the first. Come here, Jack. Baseball was always like my thing. I, I was predominantly known as a pitcher my whole career, uh, going way back as far as Little League. We, we came within one game of going to the, the uh, Little League World Series, which is a big deal. It's like only eight teams go there a year. That's probably one of my proudest achievements is being on that team. Well, we're not in Europe. We're in Sioux City. We but have seeing the popcorn see factory making, in Sioux City. Seriously, making popcorn there is right up there. Right? Well, no, they probably would give you samples like of flavored popcorns. I bet they make flavored popcorns, don't they? Oh, if you don't go to the popcorn factory, you're a loser. Put they... me, put me down for a loser. All right. Okay. 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 You know, the, the most important thing I think I've learned is um, through all this and through my faith is, is God is the one that that forgives us. Everything that I accomplish is not everything in the world. I, and my whole goal is I want to be able to answer the judgment day of my life as, as, 
as turning it around and, and not living for baseball and you know not living for everything else that exists out here because I, I understand that nothing's going with you. And it, I want to spend eternal life, you know, where where it's supposed to be great at, and that's up in heaven. And I surely don't want to be in hell. Go. Ready, Daddy? <laughs> when you get to the top, they want to drag you down. Whenever you're about to get back to the top, or whenever you're getting, making progress in anything, people want to drag you down. They, no one, they don't want to see you succeed. Every time I get on the field, they can't stop me from doing what I do. And that's the most important thing. You know, they, they can knock you as long as long as they like, as long as they choose to. Uh, but there is not a person that can actually say, you know, he cannot play. And, and, the, and the bottom line is, is baseball. You know, that's what I do for a living. You know, I play baseball. Well, why should and he be denied a chance to play baseball just because he's had past problems? He should be able to make a living for his family like anybody else. I really have, have to say to myself, these are young kids with strong arms that are, that are pitching, you know, to a little square the size of a, a plate to try to throw a ball in the strike zone. And when they do, they seem to be getting hammered. And I'm saying to myself, do you really want to go through that, Jack? First and third with two out. Here's the pitch. Strike three call. Morris strikes him out to end the inning. So the Explorers threaten, but they fail to score. You're expected to pitch uh, no more than 100 pitches. And whether that's five innings or three innings or, or six innings, you know that when you get to that mark, there's somebody else that's paid a lot of money to come in and replace you for two, and then the last guy's coming in to just shut the door. Daryl Homer last time up, and there's a ground ball through the infield for a base hit for Strawberry. One of the first times we've seen him go to left field, Greg. Yeah, it was. Daryl just put that uh, in the hole between short and third. And so he is aboard with a single, and he is two for two tonight now, Michael. Neff, right-handed batter, eight home runs on the year. And there's his throw is Strawberry steals second base. The throw not in time. So Brooks goes into the stretch. Here's the pitch. And popped up just over the first baseman's head. This may drop. It is for a single. And Strawberry's going to be coming around go, home. Go. He's going to slide in and safe. Daryl Strawberry missing the tag. You know, a lot of people question about where it's at. It's baseball. Yeah, it's difficult for me because I've been at the major league level. But it's fun to be out there playing and, and doing well. But at the same time, you sit around and you wonder, will you ever get that call again? And I'll you know, just have to wait and see. Saints up three to nothing here. Top of the third. Garner one and one here. And a sharp hit ground ball. And that is a base hit. And he's going for two. That'll score the runner, Nev. One of the ball boys might have touched it down the line. Uh, Mike, that's what Marty Scott is out uh, talking to the umpire about right now. He's trying to probably plead his case and try to get guard an extra base. Did you look at him? Not it's not like I was basically, after I signed my contract, that I was going to be given a job in the big ones. That's not how it was. I knew that when I, when I signed the contract. And it's true still today. I'm not the first uh, first round pick that didn't make it. And I won't be the last. But I'm not happy about it. You know, a lot of the worst things in life are not making it to the big leagues, you know. I could be eating beans and weenies and living down in Mexico somewhere. Nothing wrong with Mexico. Just I've been there a few times, and we, you know, we don't know how good we have it here. Garner has uh, no stolen bases. He's got a good lead at second. Not much of a threat to run, though, I'm afraid, Mike. No, he isn't. Two outs. Brooks looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. Right back to Brooks, a two-hopper. He goes over to the first baseman, Murph Proctor, for the out. For the Saints, two runs on three hits, no errors. Two men left on base. We played two and a half. It's the Saints for Sioux City, nothing here on the fan. Hey, did you notice how much it smelled like popcorn here? Morris into the motion. Big number 48 delivers a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Jack, the first day he warmed up in spring training and threw the ball for five minutes. 
you know, I really didn't have an opinion. The second day that he threw live BP to Daryl Strawberry was supposed to go five minutes and shut it down after three. I didn't know if it was going to work. Uh, he complained of soreness, stiffness, his elbow hurt, you know, and then he, after about day four or five, he finally uh, realized in his mind that, uh, you know, even when he was 25 years old, he uh, was sore and achy during spring training time and kicked it in a new gear and has gotten better every single day after that. Three up, three down, nothing across. We've played four. It's St. Paul four, Sioux City nothing on the fan. Let you go. Right here, it's kind of a cool, this is uh, his high school yearbook. There were some fans here before the game that you'll have to take a look at it on the way out of the stadium, Mike, uh, on the Explorer's side of the stadium here that have a collection of memorabilia, probably more stuff about Daryl Strawberry's career than Daryl has in his house. <laughs> a pair of autograph spikes that were game-worn, a pair of batting gloves that were game-worn, all kinds of posters, every baseball card he ever had, all kinds of stuff. Well, he's been hailed by large groups after the game, and Daryl has stayed to sign every autograph and greet every fan that uh, comes up to him. He's I consider myself to have the biggest collection of Daryl Strawberry figure in the world. I went in the locker room and talked to him. He said, yeah, I'd love to come out. And he's real cool about it. Nice guy. Morris has struck out six here through the first five and two thirds. I don't have his pitch count, Greg, but uh, he's been cruising along pretty well tonight. That he has. Jack into the motion, delivers here, and he gets the outside corner. He's been getting the first pitch across, and that's very important. Come on, baby. Big Jack into the motion, delivers. Ground ball, hot shot towards leader. Knocked it down. He'll take it himself. He'll win the race to the base. And the Sioux City Explorers are gone in a quick bottom half of the sixth inning. Three up, three down, nothing across. We're heading to the seventh. It is four to nothing, St. Paul. Woo! Okay, guys. We got it done the hair and that. Everybody. <laughs> hey! Let me smell it one more time. You have a baseball team here or something? <laughs> okay, have fun. If you get a chance to come to a game, come watch it. Take it easy on those explorers. Well, we got two big leaguers hitting home runs and throwing no hitters, so, you know, we, yeah. I just sit back and watch most of the time. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot. Right. Thank it. you. We'll see you. If I wrote the book, I would have wrote, written it a different way, probably. I'm not going to sit here and say I got screwed. Uh, just things haven't worked out. Um, that's basically it. No runs across for the Explorers. It's five to nothing here in the bottom of the seventh. That brings up Kevin Farlow, the shortstop. And he hits one to right field, and Daryl Strawberry's going back, and he can't get this one. He might have misjudged this one, and this one is, he'll be going into second. Farlow in with a two-base hit. He never saw it. So it was over his head. Farlow never pointed either. Now he's at 78 pitches. This will be his last. I'll ask him when he comes in. I said, tell me. Yeah, I asked him, he said he was okay, but I could go at any minute. Here's the pitch. And that bounces away from Canada. The runner's going to advance to third. There'll be no throw. Wild that, pitch. Wild pitch on that. Two outs, runner on third. Jack has struck out six so far. Uh, so far. Irish was his last strikeout pick. Here's the pitch. Nice pick. And just misses. And Cole Irish is on with a walk. And Jack has runners on first and third now. Two outs, brings up the number nine hitter, the catcher, Charlie Dawson. Was from the set, here's the pitch. And there's a pop-up. Come on! It's in the shallow right field. Strawberry ranging under it, he'll have it now. And records it for the out. Jimmy? Yeah. And follow that by Romo. Jack goes seven strong innings tonight, giving up five hits, no runs. He walked two while fanning six.
pitching change now as Jim Manfred comes on in relief of the big right-hander Jack Morris. So the line once again on Morris, seven innings, five hits, no runs, and he walked two and punched out six. I mean, I feel like I'm going to throw off right now. I don't know if it's because of my neck or because of the stink of them damn pigs. <laughs> I need a beer. <laughs> well, it's 9 15. That's the bottom line. I need a beer. Daryl completes his night going two for five with the two RBIs. I can't promise what the future would bring because the future may never get here. Who knows? If it's time for me to go, it would be that time. So be it. And you have to be prepared for it. I'm done. They ain't put me back out there tonight. <laughs> Kevin Garner, eight home runs, Valencia. Yeah, you know, I guess every dad wants to have a son that's played in the big league. I'll never get that opportunity. If I, if I was going to get that opportunity, I got that years ago. Of the ninth. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. St. Paul leads it five zip on the fan. So this is what death looks like. <laughs> Jim Manfred doesn't waste much time out there. Here's the 2-0 from Manny. Swung on, popped up in the air towards right field. Strawberry is ranging to his left. He will put it away, and the Saints get a big win to start the series, winning tonight by a final score of 5-2 to two over the Explorers. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Well, I saw him pitching when he was in Haiti in 96 or 97. Always 94, 95. And I was really surprised when I saw that 91 pop on the gun. The boy, I tell you what, when he, he, uh, when he popped that good, that good cut back, yeah. it was devastating. Now I got to think, go. And maybe I can pitch. What a game. I'm a wreck. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Everybody's dressed to see. Oh. <laughs> 